Hi, it's Susie here. Welcome to my cottage. I'm here today to do challenge number eight in the CW Planner by Marguerite Miller. And today we have a herb or other fragrant plant. So I've got one here. Oops. Handwriting. I've got some on this paper here from Roxy Creations. Ink whatever you that means to you well I'm going to be using some ink or another I'm not sure exactly what yet I'll see what happens circles I was going to stamp out some of these circles here to use an illustration I've got this here I've also got some washi tape that's got circles on as well so I could use those I've also got a circular sticker there I could use and the bonus is a key and this is the one that really got me stumped because I searched high and low and I can't find a key in my house apart from the one that's locking my doors so thinking sideways a bit I came up with this which is a key from a bullet journal so I thought I'd use that so the first thing I'm going to do I think is do some stamping so I'll put that out the way to one side oh sorry about my wire microphone wire didn't mean that to happen um, let's open this ink because this is a, a new one that I got and it's rustic wilderness and it's a rather pretty green color and I thought it might be quite fun to to give that a go I'm just looking to see ah, I'm looking for a stamping block so I've got one here use a square one that should fit most of them on I've never used these stamps so I'm quite excited to see how they come out I think they'll be quite good fun to use so and I've got a, an old book page here that I thought I would stamp onto sorry about the noise okay let's get this ink out and give it a try oh yes I like that I like that a lot I'm just going to take this backing off so that we don't have to listen to that awful noise all the time right let's do some of the smaller ones I think I might just do them all in the green um, or tones of green I've got some other ones here that I could use um, this one's bamboo leaves it's a memento one so we could try that one that's going to be a bit lighter I think so I hope everybody's doing well today you're all feeling healthy I'm uh, ooh, feeling a bit better than I was I've had a virus and it knocked me for six for a few days and then I, yesterday I think was the first day that I actually started to feel a bit human again and you know was able to get up not spend the whole day in bed which I'd done before so oops yeah I sp spoke to the doctor and she said that 
you know, there are other viruses going around other than the big COVID one. And I still can't work out though how I've managed to catch something because I haven't been out and I haven't seen anybody that's that's had it either. So I'm a bit confused, but I don't know. I suppose viruses can just strike you at any time. Maybe I caught it off of one of the delivery men or something like that, although I've not been anywhere near and nobody's been in my house, so I don't really know about that. Actually, I'm going to do this one again so that I've got... Let's pick a different colour this time. Um, no, that's espresso truffle. Sorry, I'm leaning over. Let's do this one, Olive Grove. Because I don't want to just put four circles on. I want to... I want to have five. I'm really trying to keep in frame after one of my last videos I had comment that I was out of frame and I do apologize for that it's not intentional just sometimes you get so focused on what you're doing that you forget about being in frame and everything so all right I'm just going to pause you for one second while I go and get some um, punches to punch these out okay that's me back just move the book in I've already punched out because I didn't want any more noise oops now I've dropped the desk what am I like okay so let's start I think I would like this, this piece here for my oops oh come on <laughs> I'm struggling I'm on the struggle bus that over there tear this down um that bit needs to be torn as well because I don't want any white in there I think I might have actually done better to cut it but never mind that's that and I also want to how do I cut this? Do I leave it? I'm not really sure whether I want it's the hairy willow herb that I wanted, and that one doesn't say it's a herb, so this one I'm just going to cut straight up. Ooh, just a tad off the top. And a tad off the bottom, that should be the right height. Oops. Yep, that's fine. Let's get my gluing book. Let's move that over a little bit. A handy dandy prick stick, which I'm determined to use up. So. Do I need to... mm. Before I do that, I think I ought to try and place so that's well they're all illustrations, but it was just the black and white one I wanted, so we've got that. We've got the handwriting and the key and I think I'm going to tear that in half put that mm, that's going to be difficult well a colour code is a key let's chop it down a little bit see if that fits better no um, ok We'll tear the key bit off and then we'll put it separate to this one which we'll tuck under there just trim that one up a little bit let's 
still says bullet code I suppose I could just put that there put that one over there I'll tuck that under I think yeah I prefer that and then put this writing one that way round and the illustration there I hope that's all in frame for you. I'm just going to move it over a little bit so you can see what I've done. And then we've got circles, which we can just spread around. like that so that's the herb handwriting ink is the stamping on the circles circles an illustration and a key right okay so what I will do is I'll start to stick these things down that are going on top of other pieces for now so that I don't forget where to put them I'm trying trying out Barbara from 49 Dragonflies method here. She always manages to she says she um she whoops she does it from top to bottom. She finds that easier, so that's quite interesting. Whoops. You have got to go under there a little bit. I'm terrible for taking everything off and then not really remembering and I know you know you could take a photo and all of that but it's a bit difficult doing that when you're filming on your camera um, right that's going under so if I just glue that under there I want it to go down a little bit that's it and then I can turn it over and I can glue that bit. Just going to move the book out and put my page in here. Oops. It's all joined together now, so it should be quite big. Ooh. Whoop, whoop, whoa, didn't mean that to happen. You stay there, you. Okay, so I'll move that back out the way. And we'll bring the page back in here. And we'll Stick it down. Where's my, make sure I'm on the page. Quite. <laughs> and I know what I've forgotten to do, and that's a pocket. It's dried out already, so I put that. everything down there and I think what I'm going to have to do is use a little bit of paper but I'm going to cover every end up covering things up so maybe this time I'll just paper clip the actual instructions to it but yes yeah, so that's um 
that's come out okay it's not perfect I mean this I need obviously need practice at doing the top up top down method but let's just double check so we've got our fragrant plant or herb we've got handwriting we've got ink on the circles we've got circles we've got an illustration and the bonus is the key so yeah I think that's that's come out fine and as I say I will paper clip that on there so that I've got it and that will be it for ne to, until next week so I hope you've enjoyed the um, video and if you're not subscribed already perhaps you'd like to subscribe ring the bell so that you get notifications of when I'm posting and if you haven't left me a comment leave me a comment down below I always answer all my comments and I love to chat and hear from you so I will take my leave and I will see you very soon oh one thing I do apologize that I didn't get a video up on Tuesday but I was in bed all day Tuesday and Wednesday and it's as much as I could do to get out of bed and make myself a cup of tea so I certainly didn't feel I was able to sit and, and make a video so I do apologize for that but we'll be back on schedule next week and hopefully everything being well I'll be posting Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thanks ever so much for listening, lovely to have you here and I'll say goodbye.